Hello everyone. My name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video we are going to cover a bit about animated text kit in Flutter. So as the name suggests animated text kit animates the text in our application so you can just simply search animate text flutter and you will get this option and when you click on it you will get this beautiful preview and as you move further uh, you will see there is a video okay so you should check out this video actually that's pretty awesome and as you move further you will see how you can add to dependencies and as you move below there is a very simple example of using animated text kit and some attributes like total repeat count animation so we will cover it in short time so as you move down you will see some beautiful uh, animations which shows its use case like if you want something like this like there is a text and then some changing animation so this is a rotate animation and as you move below you can see a fading animation and as you move below you can see a typing animation so actually I'm looking for this typing animation okay and you move below you can see another kind of a typing animation and list goes on so this is pretty awesome you can use it the way you like it okay so there are even more options like liquidity and many more okay so it's totally up to you which way you like but for now I'm just interested in this very much this typing animation or to be more specific I'm interested in this one okay this typewriter script so what I'm gonna do is to use animated text we need to just copy these attributes but before that uh, I will just import this package into our application so here simply below custom animation I will import it and simply press ctrl save to import this package and now uh, we can have a look at an example just below here okay so to use it we need to use a widget called this animated text kit and inside this we need to specify the text we need to animate inside this typewriter animated text since we want typing effect I am gonna use it and there are some attributes like total repeat count four times it will repeat is there should be a pause and many more things okay so for now I'm just gonna copy this one out I will move to our project and simply here I will run my application first so simply F5 now as you can see the application is up and running and if I click on this there is a default message now let's say I want to just animate this one so what I can do is so simply we want only animation for the bot not for the user so what we will do is we will just move below like this and instead of this text I'm just gonna use animated text so simply like this I will comment this one out and simply inside this child I will paste what I have copied and I just need to import animated text kit and if I press ctrl save so you will see some text is animated here but actually that's too slow so what I can do is I can remove this pause from here I can just remove this stop pause on tap etc and I can change this speed to let's say for now 100 milliseconds and if I press ctrl save and if I just go back if I move to this screen back you will see this moves quite fast and that looks good but the thing is it will only repeat for four times and then it will stop so what I can do is I can just use repeat forever to true and after that I don't need this textiles and I don't want this hello world rather I want to use a please wait here so simply please wait and three dots a space here a space here and control save and if I just go back if I click on this you will see it is the effect that actually I am looking for simply please wait okay but the thing is we don't want to show this please wait on every text okay we just want to show it for the loading purpose so what I'm gonna do is inside the chat screen I will remove this please wait and I will use a empty string so when this is empty now we will get to know that text is loading so what we can do is we can add a kind of a condition here message dot message dot is empty in that case we will show this please wait one animated text or else we can just simply go with our normal text here so I can just cut it from here just remove this line and simply like this and just uncomment this one and if I press ctrl save you will see it is showing like this now if I just type something here 
like hello and if i click on this rocket symbol you will see it is animating please wait and it is saying hello how can i assist you today so i am just typing anything here tell me a joke and simply click on this rocket symbol and it is animating please wait sure here is the classic one for you okay tell me another two jokes and if i just send it like this it is showing me two more jokes and i can type anything that i like tell me about galaxy and as you can see uh, it is showing me please wait so you will see it have given me a quite a lot details here so it took a lot of time for me but now there is a very small issue i won't consider it as an issue but it should be a feature like when i type something uh, the message or the screen should automatically move to the bottom of the screen okay in our case it doesn't moves okay like if i type here something like hi and if i just hit enter you will see we are not moving to the bottom which means we should move to the last portion and then it should move like this this is the basic feature in a chatting app okay so what we can do is inside this uh, i'm just gonna create a scroll controller okay and i will initialize that scroll controller to our list view and then we will move to the last of the list view when user taps on this feature so simply here scroll controller and simply scroll controller and simply inside this chatbot feature inside this list view i can just pass a controller and i can just pass this underscore c dot scroll controller okay now what we want is when user sends a message it should move to the bottom of the screen so i will create a function so simply scroll down for moving to end message and what we can do is we can use simply this scroll controller dot and we can use an attribute called is animate to and we need to specify the position where we want to move for example this is the position of around 0.2 percent of media query this is around media queries full height and this is around 0.5 percent near this okay now how we'll get to know that what is the end point of this message so actually we don't know so what i will do is i will just use this scroll controller to let me know what is the end point so simply here i will use position dot and i will use max scroll extent which means move to the maximum possible scroll you can do and we have to specify a duration like how much time it should take to move to that so actually i am specifying around 500 ms so it should move with a little bit of animation and we have to specify a curve so for now curves dot ease okay so i want a kind of a easy movement you can try another curves too and when the user hit this message i want to scroll down as well as when user receives the response i want to scroll down so two times i am scrolling down now if i just type here hi and if i just click on this what you will see is it scrolls down to the bottom and it looks pretty awesome okay so with this we successfully completed the functionality of our chat with assistant okay and you can also explore a lot about this package okay animated text kit it's pretty awesome so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye bye